everybody and welcome to another episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that bell to just get some more notifications about our videos. Now, of course, uh, my last video was made about XXX Tentacion and his untimely death. And in honor of uh, his music and um, all of the great things he did do, uh, we do want to go ahead and celebrate him by making a song theory about one of his songs that caught my eye. One of the songs that I was super interested in making one about was the song I Spoke to the Devil in Miami. He said everything would be fine. Now, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I happen to be quite spiritual. I, am, I follow the words of Jesus Christ. I read upon it all the time. And it's not just that though, it's also the fact that you wouldn't think XXX Tentacion would be so inclined to speak about his spirituality like that and kind of what he thought um, about it. So when I hear somebody say, I spoke to the devil, that immediately catches my attention. So I have a theory for you guys today and I want to jump into it. First of all, let's go ahead and speak about the, the lyrics. The lyrics that he has in the song are indicative of exactly how he felt when he was writing it. I'm not quite sure what was happening to him around the time, but his lyrics speak so much on to exactly what I'm trying to speak on today. The very first line of the song is, it will all be over soon. Scary stuff, okay? What is he talking about? Why is he saying that? Let's go deeper into it. As you begin to read his lyrics, he starts saying things like, and I'm always where the sun don't shine, tears don't show, won't hurt me now cause heart's been broke. Obviously everyone knows X is extremely emotional. Uh, he's had a lot of things happen to him in his life. Uh, he's been through a lot of trauma and he's caused a lot of trauma to others. So he was a very complex being and I believe that these lyrics were speaking on that. Now, we're gonna go further into it, but I want you to kind of understand the lyrics and kind of who he was. He was a very complex being, and I believe that these lyrics were speaking on that. Now, we're gonna go further into it, but I want you to kind of understand the lyrics and kind of who he was. Listen to this part. Led by your leopard, often give his perception as a handle of weapon. Took a bite of your apple. Give me all you can offer. Now I'm trapped in a changing maze. This right here speaks on exactly what I wanted to talk about, his conversation with Satan. So, of course, everybody has heard at one time or another, someone spoke to the devil or had a conversation with Satan and traded their souls for goods or livelihood, money, things like that. X in this song is speaking exactly to that. He is saying in this song that he spoke to Satan and Satan told him exactly what he was going to get. Now, to me, this actually speaks true to another story from the 16th century um, by the name of Faust. If you don't know the story of Faust, it's about a highly successful but extremely depressed man who wasn't getting satisfaction out of life. So what he decided to do was go ahead and summon Satan to help him. And Satan in this story went by the name of Mephistopheles. And Mephistopheles decided to help him, but the one catch 22 was that after his term, or after the devil uses his powers to give Faust power and uh, his love life and money, that Faust's soul would be taken straight to hell. And that is how the story went on. Faust did everything, he had all the money and the women and the power, and at the end of the term, Satan did end up taking his soul. Although Faust didn't want that, the devil was like, look, brother, you made the deal, and now you got to go ahead and deal with it. So after reading these lyrics, I realized something. I believe that once you understand. I believe that once you understand the lyrics, they really do speak to the story of Faust. So moving on, you begin to realize that, you know, X is stuck in a maze after he sold his soul. He didn't know what to do. And what really hit me was the end of the song. Right here, it says, he said he would save me if I gave him one thing. What is this thing? I pleaded. Boy, it's the key to even. Okay, so that sounds strange, but let's keep moving on, okay? It says right here, what you crave will soon be yours, but what I crave is already mine. 
This is Satan talking to X. Now remember, in this song, Satan's name is not Mephistopheles, it's not Satan, uh, but it's uh, Baphomet. Now if you don't know, Baphomet was actually way back in the 14th century. He was used as a figure of the occult. Uh, people claim that the Knights of Templar, the knights that existed back in the uh, medieval times, used to worship this particular being. Now this being is actually something that's representative of, if you ever heard this phrase, um, as above, so below, meaning that it's equality and it is essentially dark and light, good and evil. Either way, this is the person or the being that X is saying that he's speaking to. The part that scares me is that everyone knows that the music industry is rife with uh, different sayings of the um, the occult and say Satanism and everyone says that Beyonce and all that they're a part of the Illuminati but this song really opens my eyes to the idea that perhaps X was speaking about something that he couldn't give full details in maybe a part of his life and his career that he couldn't really speak on and this right here the story of course paralleling with Faust is maybe giving us an idea of exactly what was going on the conversation with Baphomet Maybe it wasn't actually Satan, but maybe it was a music producer or somebody that owned a record label. Maybe his soul that he's speaking about at the end of the song when he says, Anima Vestra. He's saying, of course, reading the line again, what you crave will soon be yours. Like we spoke about Faust in the story from the 16th century, what he craved was money, power, all those things. The devil after that says, but what I crave is already mine. See, after X signed the contract with Satan, or the music producer or record label, who knows, right? We're using this as a metaphor right now. After he signed the contract, what this person was saying, Baphomet, was that although X wanted all these things and he wanted to be famous and wanted the money, Baphomet was saying that what he wanted was already gained. The soul of X was already taken by the time X signed that document. And it's really scary to hear kind of the way that X was speaking in this song because you can almost hear the terror in his voice and how scared he was. And I believe this is a point that everyone should take into account. When artists and people like musicians write songs like this, they're not just writing them because, oh, they're having fun, but there's a real message behind what he's saying. You know, take into account Biggie and Tupac and all these people that foreshadowed their death in these songs. X was doing the exact same thing. The words that he keeps repeating at the end of the song mean your soul. Baphomet, at the end of the song, acquired X's soul. It's scary now because he's dead, right? And it's kind of hard to think that maybe he did sell his soul to the devil. But once again, if we get outside the spiritual aspect, what if it is actually the case that he sold his soul to the music industry? All the things that he wanted, that he required, that he desired were given to him. But one thing was needed by that record industry or by that record company. And that one thing was his soul. Once again, guys, it's a theory and it might sound a little crazy, but I really enjoyed this song. And once again, the song is called, I spoke to the devil in Miami. And if you don't know, X was killed in Miami. It's kind of weird how all that connects. So hopefully you heard this theory and you kind of take heed to what I'm saying. Uh, maybe that X was not the person we thought he was. Uh, maybe there are things that were going on with him that we didn't understand. But either way, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this song theory. I try to make sure to put more graphics and things. Um, but anyway, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. And I'll be back with another song theory. Thank you all so much. Have a great day and a better tomorrow. God bless. I'll see you guys later.